Hello guys, and today I bring you the top 5 Trials tracks, and these are only maps that are not meant for racing. So it's not a map where you take a dirt bike from point A to point B in a complicated manner. And then this first level is called Garden Garden. It's really a little zombie game. You can move to the flower beds to those, and you have to try and kill zombies. The amount and pace they come at increases through time and I'm going to skip forward just to uh, a little ahead and this shows that they have a very nice uh, shop that you can actually buy items from and there's a decent amount of items and each weapon has its own distance, has its own firepower, has its own accuracy and stuff towards that extent that it's, it's very fun to actually play and you actually have two health bars so it's not like the zombies take from one spot, so you have to play kind of strategically. So if a lot of the zombies have been taken a lot from, let's say, your left side, then you should probably leave your right side a little bit open. But yeah, they get really fast, and you will die. Like, it's not a game that you're su there's a way to win. It just gets to the point where they overwhelm you. And they get stronger, too, in their health. And it just looks nice. I really like the pixel art that they did with it. And it's, it's fun to play. And then this next map you are going to see should look familiar. It's something that everyone probably has played at least once in their life. And it's just a classic board game throwback. You will see when you play Trials Evolution and you look at the custom maps, there are a lot of throwbacks to stuff that's already been done. And mainly you see like retro maps. So there's a very nice Pac-Man and there's a very nice Asteroids game type. And uh, this just happened to strike my fancy more than that because they actually took the time to create an AI. And that's not easy. I'm not quite sure how he went about doing it. With that, the editor is very detailed, but he would have to know every spot you land and then choose a place for the guy to go every time. And it has to keep a nice total. Like, it's not an easy thing to do to create an AI. And that's creating an AI inside of a program that's already made. So that makes it even more complicated. So that's what really impressed me with this one. And uh, at the beginning you saw the gameplay was kind of slow. So this, this whole part you're actually watching right now is sped up. Like I sped it up much faster if you look at the time in the left hand. Because the AI does take a little while to actually figure out where it wants to go. But yeah, so that's Connect 4, and uh, yeah, I just thought it was exceptional because of the fact that they created an AI for it. This level, I actually never completed, so you know how you get like the medals at the end? I never was able to get to that, because this, <laughs> wow, because I'm quite terrible actually, I'm not going to lie. This is a parking game, so... Many people have played Flash versions or s on like the internet of something that's probably very similar to this where you just move around and you try and get from one parking spot to another without causing damage to the vehicle. And uh, it's just really well constructed this level. The only complaint I really have is that the controls are a little awkward. It doesn't necessarily feel like you're turning from your front tires, more like you're turning... It, the turning's just a little awkward, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And, uh... But yeah, and I did terrible in this gameplay. But yeah, there's, there's movement, like there's cars that come at you. It has a pretty good sensor, like, to determine a hit detection. And it, uh, so it's not only in the location that you see. Like, once you go through the here, you actually go out on the road a bit more and stuff like that. Like, it's not that basic of a game. Like, it gets, gets intense. And, like, just little things, like, like that, for example. It's, it's fun to do. It's a fun game. It's well set up. So now I couldn't have a video like this without having a shooter in it. And so this is uh, one of the better ones. You have like 
what's going on there is you picking up ammo. Now, the one issue you will see is that they aren't AI-driven. I mean, if you run into them, you will die. However, it's pretty easy just to walk around all these zombie meat people. But it's still fun. Like, there's a little bit of an element of, like, puzzle-ness. I, I, I'm totally missing the term. But yeah, there's a bit of puzzle to it. So an example right there is you shoot a barrel and it explodes the wall. I mean, there's just little things like shooting off a lock and stuff like that. And uh, the sounds I really enjoy. Like, it's... They did a good job with the sounds. And then it, it sounds pretty terrifying. And a little... Like, it's really the small details and stuff like this. Like, the blood on the wall and that pipe bursting as you walk by it. It's those things that make this level go over the top compared to the other shooters I've played on this on Trials Evolution. So it just seemed like it was pretty well thought up. That's really why this guy made the list over other ones. But Yeah, just the lightning, the blood trail lead guiding you to where you want to go. It just looks nice. And if you've been keeping track, we are making it to the last one. This level, I think, is the best. You can play this for a long time and still enjoy it. Like, it is a good game built on top of this game. Like, it is very much enjoyable. And you should be able to tell, well, <laughs> I guess there's text on the bottom that has already told you, but this is a throwback to Missile Command. So, it's... If you played Missile Command, there's these guys trying to attack you, and you just... You have to kind of lead your bullets ahead of them and blow them all up, and then the pace comes up. There's... This is not as basic as it sounds, though. There's power-ups, there's bombs... And as you can also see, there's bosses. It's just, it's very much enjoyable, and it is not an easy game to play. The spaceships, as you can see, are the things that give you power-ups. So, this gave me beam, which is like shooting electromagnetic bolts. And those are nice because they fire instantly. So, I mean, like, just keeping it there, it would be very much easy to take them all out. And there's a lot of power-ups. So, for example, that gave me a bomb. There's stuff that increases your score, like multipliers from these guys. You see the little building in the bottom left? There's one that creates another like automated turret that fights for you. There's just quite a few things that make this game very enjoyable and that you can play for a long time so that's why this level in my eyes is the best trials evolution non-racing map that you can find and i hope you guys enjoy this video please comment rate subscribe if you did and i hope you guys have a great night